it is going to significantly um, affect these defendants' rights to a fair and impartial trial. It took Superior Judge Scott McAfee less than two hours to come to a decision. He rejected the arguments of Trump-aligned lawyers Kenneth Chesbra and Sidney Powell that they should be tried singly and separately in this racketeering case. I, I, I'm not finding the severance uh, from Mr. Chesbro or Powell is necessary to achieve a fair determination of the guilt or innocence for either defendant in this case. Prosecutors want all defendants tried together in late October. They told the judge that the trial would take the same amount of time whether it was for two or 19 defendants and the judge has asked them to appear on Tuesday next week to present further argument to support their case. Judge, we contend that we must prove the entire conspiracy against each and every one charged. Each and every one charged. So the court, in the interest of judicial economy, would have to make the decision as to whether or not the court wants to try the same case 19 times. The prosecution says it expects the trial to take four months after jury selection and that more than 150 witnesses will be called. Jury selection can take a long time. For example, jury selection is still underway in a racketeering case that began in this court in January. And we, need, we're, we plan to make that October 23rd trial date stick. The question to be resolved, whether the trial of all 19 defendants begins on October the 23rd. Given the timelines, a trial that begins on this date could well conclude around the 4th of March next year. That's the date set for the beginning of the federal trial against the former president, whose diary during a presidential campaign is getting more and more crowded. Judge McAfee is likely to take a final decision on this trial date after he hears from prosecutors next Tuesday.